Welcome back. Now AWeber will allow you to update your subscribers every time you update your blog. And you can do that through what they call their blog broadcast. Now what you'll need in order to set up a blog broadcast is you will need the RSS feed of your blog. So once you have it handy, what you'll need to do is to come to this messages area. You come all the way to the bottom and it says blog broadcast. You're going to click that link. That's going to bring you to this page. And you're then going to click create a blog broadcast. Now the first thing you're going to be asked for is that RSS feed URL. You're going to place it in this box. Now typically when you have a WordPress blog, your feed URL is going to be the URL forward slash and the word feed, then another forward slash. Now when you write in the subject line, this is the subject line that's going to appear every time your blog post has an update. So you want to make sure that you title this appropriately. And you can then write your message. Now if you want to use any of the templates that Aweber has for your blog, you can do that. So for example, if you want to use a template to give your post a certain look, you want to give it a different look than your email, you can do that. But again, you want to write a basic message that indicates that you know that this is going to be sent to your subscribers every time that there is an update. Once you have your message, you're then going to scroll down. You'll then want to write a plain text message. You'll then determine when you want the post to be sent. And you can have the post created immediately or at a specific time every day. Then you can determine how often your blog posts are going to be sent. You can determine a specific number of posts that should be present when the post is sent out. You can send it on specific days of the month or send automatically. So once you've determined the parameters, you can then click Save Blog Broadcast. So you can go back and you can take a look to see which, you can go back inside and you can look to see which of your posts are going to be broadcast to your subscribers. And you can always check as to when your posts were last downloaded and when your blog broadcast was last updated. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.